Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl, and it is the 1st of August, which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, see this month's sketch, see the first set of cards I made, and find out how you can download the free printable. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Sheetload of Cards Day is always an exciting one here on my channel. If you're new here, Sheet Loaded of Cards is a free printable I put out each month that gives you a new sketch, supply list, and cutting guides to make the most of your supplies and make a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between 6 and 12 cards. On the first of each month, I share a look at the new printable and my first set, and then on the second, tomorrow, I will be back to show you how I made my first set and give you some tips along the way. Also, on the second of the month, my team of collaborators joins me here on YouTube and over on Instagram and shares their takes on the new sketch. Make sure that if you don't already follow them here on YouTube or over on Instagram that you do that so you're all ready for tomorrow. Everybody is linked in that description box below. At the end of the video, I will tell you how you can download the free printable if you're a subscriber to my channel, so make sure to keep watching so you can make your own sheet load of cards. Are you ready to see August 2023? Here's a look at the brand new sheet load of cards. The August 2023 printable is going to show you how to make eight cards with just two pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper and some cardstock. And guess what? If you follow the supply list, cutting guides, and layout, you will not have any pattern paper scraps left over this month. I don't know about you, but I enjoy using those up right away. You will see that the card sketch is pretty simple, but there is a little twist. And in case you want to get started before my process video tomorrow, make sure that once you mat this 6 by 2 inch strip, that you adhere it to pattern paper A and trim off the excess before it goes on the card base. I did kind of give some instructions there, but just a heads up. I know some of you like to get started right away. Now there is one other special thing to note, and that is this little sketch down here. To use up every last bit of that pattern paper, we're going to put a couple banners on the inside of our cards. So not only will we be left with no pattern paper scraps, but we have a little added decoration on the inside. Now if you like this month's sketch and you don't need a full sheet load or you want to use up some scraps, I do always give dimensions of each of the individual pieces so you can make single cards. Even though I do give you those dimensions, on some pieces, especially CS2, which is the sentiment, that might be one that you want to change the dimensions on. Sheet load is always a great jumping off point to make it your own. And speaking of making it your own, down here at the bottom I do have some alternative ideas, but I know that you are going to come up with something great to make this your own. Now if you do and you want to share it, at the top of each printable are a couple hashtags. So if you share here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok, I would love for you to use those and tag me so I can see what you're creating. On page 2 of the printable is the cutting guides. I show you how to cut each piece of 12 by 12, which again, we're going to use up every little bit here. For your card stocks this month, you'll need two full sheet in coordinating colors to mat the 6 by 2 inch strip, and then you'll need just a quarter of a sheet for your sentiments. And this is also going to be a great one to use up those scraps. Now you'll see on my cards I did have to adjust the width of the sentiment piece just a little bit to fit it, so I still got away with a quarter sheet of cardstock. 
A couple other things to note on page two, I do have my Instagram and TikTok accounts listed here at the top. So if you're on either of those, I would love a follow. And then down here at the bottom, I do just want to say a big thank you to my channel members. Your monthly support keeps me creating here on YouTube and sheet load of cards free for all. And speaking of channel members, I have some special ones to recognize. In July, I had some channel members earn their two-year membership badge. So I would like to take a minute to recognize them. An extra special thank you goes out to Aileen Chan, Terry Doriot, Mary Rita 01, Nicole Swanberg, Erica Fields, Carmen God, Kathy Peck, Judy Miller, Ruth McCurry, Erica Nelson, Deneen Cook, Judy Grachik, Shirley H. Alicia Chapman. And Shelly Anderson. Thank you so much for your continued support. Before I show you my first set of cards this month and tell you how you can download the free printable, why don't we go ahead and look at the main supplies I use for my cards. In front of me are the main supplies that you'll be seeing used in tomorrow's process video. For the sentiment, I chose Just Saying Hi from the same named stamp set from Hero Arts, and this one is an oldie but a goodie. You can tell I've had it in my collection for a while because of the yellowing of the stamps, but you know what? That does not affect how they work. This is a good time for me to point out that you don't always have to have the newest or exactly what I use in my videos. Use what you have in your stash to make your sheet load. I went with Blueberry Ink from Tailored Expressions to stamp that. And for my cardstocks, I chose Passionate Pink from Gina K. And then I got out a scrap of white for my sentiments. Now, of course, I do also need the four pieces of white cardstock to cut and fold into the card bases. For my pattern papers, I chose these two from Simple Stories. These are from their Summer Lovin' line. I love these florals and then these distressed stripes. Now normally when I pick my pattern paper for sheet load, I'll have one bright kind of like this one, and then I would choose another one in maybe a single subtle pattern. But I decided since this wasn't too loud and it incorporated so many of the colors from the floral sheet that I would use this this month. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at my first set. These cards were so quick and easy to create and I love that I didn't have any pattern paper scraps left over. I did end up with some cardstock scraps, so I decided to use some of that to decorate the cards a little bit more. I used a Stitch Florals die set, and I used pink for the ones with the striped strip, and I used white for the ones with the floral strip. I just thought that added a little something extra. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is that this sketch is also perfect if you have 6x6 paper. For every two cards, you will need two pieces of 6x6 pattern paper, but you won't have any scraps with the dimensions. Let me know by leaving a comment below if you would like me to come back later this month and show you how to use 6x6 paper. Let me tell you how you can download this month's printable. As always, I do ask that you're a subscriber to my channel to get the free printable. It's quick, it's free, it's easy. If you're not already subscribed, you can just click on the button below this video. You're gonna find the link to this month's printable in the description box below, right below my product list. 
Now below that line, it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is the password. I can't wait to see what you're creating and come back tomorrow with the process. Until then, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.